The 2020 season sees quite a few new 146 inch sleds come to market, but one that's been around for a little while is the backcountry. And this right here is the 2020 Skidoo Backcountry XRS 850 with shot. While nothing dramatically changes for this season with the Backcountry XRS, it's been a few seasons since we tested one. And with the current landscape buzzing in the 146 inch category, we knew it was time to get ourselves reacquainted with this icon of a sled and push it to its limits. Now keep in mind, this isn't a Renegade. Likewise, it's not a free ride, but it is an XRS, which means that we have the suspension to push it to its limit. The backcountry's a 50-50 on-off trail sled by Skidoo's definition, and the XRS package speaks well to the off-trail portion, allowing us to tune the shocks to our heart's content. Up front, we've got the RAS3 front end and KYB Pro 36 EA shocks, featuring a big, easy to use, glove-friendly compression clicker, and likewise a smaller rebound clicker that you can still feel without having to freeze your digits down at the bottom end. These are the right shocks for the job, and they truly let me get loose and have some fun off trail. So the front end is set up for off trail play, but what about out back? And I'm talking not just about the suspension, but about the track as well. In the 146 inch crossover category, this is the only sled that boasts a 16 inch wide footprint. Sure, it's only one more inch, but that's significant when you find yourself playing off trail. And in our case, we opted for the 1.6 inch Ice Cobra track, so more flotation really does help. We could have opted for the two inch Powder Max, but we feel this is not a trail friendly track. And seeing as we wanted to explore the true 50-50 capabilities, the Ice Cobra is perfect fit. With its built-in pre-molded studs, the Ice Cobra is able to grab that extra bit of bottom should you blow through the top layer, and it's really noticeable at gaining you extra traction, especially when the bottom layer is icy. The C-Motion rear skid is a bit of blending and harmony of both T-Motion and R-Motion, and with the tipped rear portion of the rails, it's not that bad on the trail. To help with the off-trail fun, the front arm shock is a Pro 36 EA, much like the front ski shocks and offering the same glove-friendly compression clicker, but no rebound. The rear arm shock goes to the next level with a full KYB Pro 40 EA race shock, and it's got the same big compression adjuster as well. In other words, you are ready to go no matter how hard you're gonna rip off-trail. The rear skid soaks up everything that I sent its way and didn't hesitate to let me push the limits and really go big. The rideability of the 146 is perfect for flatland free riders or foothill shredders, and lets you maneuver tighter, get out of trickier treat-in situations, and yet not sacrifice too much in the flotation department because of the extra one inch wide, 16 inch track. So off trail, there's no arguing that the backcountry is an absolute beast. I mean, this thing holds a line very well, gets on edge, super easy. It's confidence inspiring for anyone who throws a leg over it. But what about the other 50% of the time? It claims to be the ultimate 50-50 on and off trail sled, but I'd have to say that it's probably closer to 70-30. But few rides over 137 inches can actually back up a true 50-50 claim. I can say the KYB Pro 36 and 40 series EA shocks don't just do a great job of softening down big hits, they also allow you to dial it way back and enjoy the trails. The tip portion of the rear rail makes the 146 handle much more like a 137 Renegade than longer trackers. And while we do notice more steering effort to get it around the corner, you're talking about a G4 rip. These things corner like they're on rails, and a little extra track length doesn't seem to make a huge difference. The RAS3 does work well, and having the extra KYB front XRS shocks definitely helps with my complaints about being able to overdrive the front end of a G4. The Monotube X package front end shocks I find don't have the capabilities to keep the front end on target when you're really hustling through the job. But these KYB Pro 36s are great at keeping you on point. Should the trail turn for the worst over the day's ride, you just click up the front compression and you're ready to rock. The handlebars are also a big plus with the free ride like taper bar and built in hooks. You really feel at home behind the bars, they fit right, and likewise the height of the riser is not too much for trail, not too little for off trail. The truth about the Renegade lineup is that they're long track trail sleds. So don't jump off your Renegade R motion and expect the backcountry to meet your demands. 
And in the same breath, if you're tired of riding on one ski and getting your back beat by a free ride or a summit where you really don't need it, the backcountry will absolutely astonish you at its off-trail capabilities and its on-trail comfort. Just know where you ride and how you ride, and don't buy a sled that just looks cool. Buy the sled that fits your actual riding profile. And with the XRS over the X, I think I found my sled a choice. I get the beefed up chassis reinforcements, the huge wide running boards, and the suspension that fits what I do. Oh, and the lava red and white XRS only graphics are pretty sweet too. On top of those things for 2020, many backcountry sleds get the updated 7.2 inch digital display that's much easier to access info on, looks much cleaner and has way more information. We get the reliability of a recoil and the benefits of electric start after a once a day pulling, plus 20 pounds weight reduction. Yeah, that's a pretty easy trade off for me. The 146 inch category is a busy segment for 2020. And while the backcountry has been around the longest in this category, don't underestimate its abilities to stand up to its competition. If you like what you've just seen, click the subscribe button and comment below. And make sure you check out all of our great videos on Snowtracks TV's YouTube channel.